a few weeks ago, um, I sent out a message saying, you know, send me in your questions because a lot of people have been emailing with all sorts of different questions, really interesting ones actually. And sometimes they're questions that I can't quite get across in the tutorials. So I thought I'd do a little Q&A just between you and me um, and I could do some research as well if I needed to. So let's get through it. Let's start going through these questions. Okay, so Ian, emailed in and asked what kind of paper I use or what sort of board do I use because sometimes the paper that he was using kind of cockles up with the water. So it's a really interesting point actually. There's there's various uh, supports that we can use for, um, for acrylics. I tend to use, in the tutorials, I'll use an acrylic paper. Now, uh, it's usually a Galleria ac acrylic paper. I think it's about 300 gram, which is quite heavy duty, quite thick, almost like a thick watercolor paper. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. Um, actually, if you look on the website, we've got the free little um, sort of uh, tutorials at the beginning, and I talk a lot about the supports in that as well. But they're really, really good. It takes a wash really well. It also takes collage to a certain extent. Um, so it's really useful. It's got the nice, kind of broken finish, we can get really good effects, but you'll find it doesn't cockle up too much. So if we're using water, it's gonna stay reasonably flat. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, oh, you're gonna love this. If you can hear the farmer outside, he's turning over the grass just outside of the studio. So you can, if you can hear that, that uh, farmer, um, that's what it is. It's not my, it's not my stomach, you know, I have, I've, I've had porridge this morning actually, so it's not that. Okay, if, I, if I'm using more collage, if I'm using heavier duty collage, I'll use some board. Now I tend to use mount board, or in America you'll know it as, as mat board, um, and it's the apertures of the, mount, the, the framing process. So when they actually cut the apertures out of the mount, I'll go and actually use that board. It's, it, again, it's very, very thick, really useful. Again, it'll take a wash really well, but it takes collage beautifully. You know, even heavy duty stuff like shells and stones and that kind of thing, take it absolutely fine. The one kind of surface that I tend to shy away from actually is canvases and that's simply because they can be a little bit too sort of um, floppy for, for collage work. So they're lovely, you know, don't get me wrong, I love them and they feel beautifully, they're, they're, they make a great sound don't they when you're actually putting paint onto them but when it comes to using more mixed media they're a little bit too, a little bit too soft for that. So mount board acrylic paper or you could use heavy duty watercolor paper all of those stop the cockling work beautifully while I'm on the subject of Ian's question actually Ian also asked me this is a question that lots and lots of people ask me you've seen me use this now these are my big beautiful sort of um, round palettes they're only plastic they're actually really cheap now a lot of people have been asking where you can get these they are quite difficult to find I actually bought these years ago from my local art shop um, in, it's actually just in Penzance. Um, and it turns out, I've got the notes, it turns out these came from Hope Education. They're called Philograph Publications Limited and Hope Education. They sold them. I don't know if they still do, but I think they still do. They're the only place I've been able to find them in this country. Having said that, when I was in America, you can find them everywhere in Hobbycraft and, and every kind of American store sell these as well, very inexpensive. Um, and if you're not concerned about them being round, you don't have to be round. Jackson's um, in, in the UK also sell a really fabulous rectangular version of this with, again, about the same size little wells, really, really good. So if you look on jacksons.co.uk under the palette section, they'll also have a rectangular version of these as well. Really, really great palettes, really inexpensive, easy to clean, you know, if that's, if, if you like cleaning them or if you're more like me, just leave it as it is. So thanks for your question, Ian. I hope that's uh, answered them. <laughs>